guys, situational awareness video here. So one thing I wanted to talk about that nobody else talks about that I wanted to share in the private section is that there's a lot of near-Earth objects like asteroids in the atmosphere. We just recently had solar flares knock out um, the energy grid. So it was Google and it was Facebook, and it was Instagram. If you knew anything about the solar flares a little, maybe a week back or so, um, nobody's Instagram or Facebook would work. And that's because a solar flare had knocked it out. And um, sometimes there's radio emissions and stuff like that from infrared and just different things that go out because of solar flares. You either have a Class X, M, and another one I can't remember. But the uh, the worst flares, I think those are X's, if I'm not mistaken. And then you've got asteroids passing through the atmosphere. Um, supposedly Apophis is a bad one for us eventually. But I don't think there's no reason to spread panic, to jump to conclusions, or anything like that. I just believe that being aware that your energy grid or system or internet might go down is just a little bit more helpful then wondering who hacked you or why something's not working. Um, so when it comes to near-Earth objects, that's a situational awareness factor. So is solar flares, flares so is the energy grid. Um, and we have to update the energy grid so that when solar flares hit us in the future, that, that they don't leave us without per, per, periods of power for infinite amounts of time. Because if we did that, then we would be vulnerable to attack by other countries or just like robbery or crime or anything else. So in a matter of seconds, you know, hurting a president or taking anything out that's, you know, usually security, like stuff like that can leave a country or a world very vulnerable. So it's good to know your factors and know not to shoot presidents, not to not to let them get shot, to always protect them when they're in their leadership era. Um, help them make the correct choices, if anything, because sometimes they aren't perfect and you can't expect that. Um, update the power grid so that when the solar flares hit, you're able to get the power up sooner and faster, you know. However much and however the best you can do that, whatever ways they choose to do that, they have done that, um, our president has, so. But, um, and then, like, there's the Class X and Class M solar flares. Um, so there's different levels of solar flares that have intensity. You have radio interference sometimes where they go out because of them, too. So the, I just wanted to point that out because AT&T and Verizon and all those towers went out. And that was because of a solar flare. That's the day it happened. And, um... I think it was one of the worst solar flares, so it caused quite a big interference for like a whole half a day, I, I would judge. Um, so yeah, remember your situational awareness in those situations is that, you know, near-Earth objects, the energy grid is updated, powered up, easy enough. Um, how easy is it to fix something? Um, you know, is it efficient, affordable, you know, just different things like that are factors. And when we make our decisions, how ethical are we being? Are we being cost effective? Or are we, you know, and just different things like that help us in the long run. So I just wanted to point that out because I know um, they were talking about the solar flare, well, not the solar flares, but the uh, the power going out for AT&T and Verizon and stuff. So just remember that. Peace. Bye.